The TARDIS has landed at the Holy Lands during the crusade of the late 12th century. Almost immediately, Barbara is captured by Saracen soldiers and their commander, the ruthless warlord, El Akir. The travellers do not have time to look for Barbara as the sounds of battle begin to approach them. King Richard and his knights are under attack. The king is wounded. To create a diversion, one of the king's loyal knights, William de Preux, proclaims that he is King Richard. The bluff works, and he is captured, allowing the real King Richard to escape. De Preux is locked up with Barbara, and to support his deception, he creates an alias for Barbara. She is to pose as Joanna, King Richard's sister, and together they will try to deceive the Saracens. They are taken to the palace of the Saracen leader, Saladin, where El Akir proudly presents his prisoners to Saladin's brother, Safadin. The deception is short-lived, as Safadin soon realizes that the prisoners are not who they claim to be. This humiliates and infuriates El Akir. In the king's palace at Jaffa, the doctor, Ian and Vicky are presented to the king by the knight William de Tornabu. The king is being treated for his injuries, having just returned to the palace himself. De Tornabu finishes with the story of his rescue, and Richard thanks them for their assistance. Even the return of the jeweled belt does nothing to improve the king's mood. Ian decides to risk the king's bad mood to ask for his help in recovering Barbara. He explains what happened and asks to be sent as the king's emissary to Saladin's headquarters to bargain for the return of Barbara and William de Preux. But the king is ill disposed to trading with Saladin and nothing they say can change his mind. As far as he's concerned, Barbara can stay in his clutches until she dies. We join the story for the reconstruction of part two, The Knight of Jaffa.